Hello everyone, today I prepared the ultimate in-depth guide for the mine. If you want to see the specific stuff, the time codes for everything will be down below in the pinned comment. Make sure to check it out. Now, let's begin the guide. First of all is the spawn map. I say my deep thanks to CN Lee for making this map. Make sure to check out his channel in description. There are 22 spawns on the mine which is the biggest amount of the spawns on any map we ever seen. There have been leaks that there could be a maximum of 24 to 28 people on the map, but there's no confirmed number yet from the developers. So you can trust me on that one fellas. Well, now let's get to hotspots. In my opinion, when the mine comes to Global Launch on July 25th, it will have 3 hotspots. Hellside Park with a cable car station, Hostels and Prison Mine. Let's begin with the Prison Mine. The outside of Prison Mine has a lot of angles to be shot from. So I would be careful if I were you when entering the inside. The Prison Mine itself has two entrances. Main entrance can be easily defended by enemy. But can get to the juiciest loot at near instant. Alright, let's get to the back entrance. The back entrance has pretty tough to hold on to with a lot of defensive position it has. Also, it serves very strategic purpose, since you can get near instant access to the back of the first and second floor of the prison. It has very great angles of the first floor and the ladder to the second floor. Alright, let's talk about the loot now. Prison mine is the best spot on the entire map for quick loot. It has one free safe in a bit hidden room and two key rooms. On the first floor you have President's Office key room and on the second floor is the mayor storage room. Well, enough of the prison mine for now. Let's get to the hillside park with the cable car station. Hillside park itself doesn't have any key rooms, but it's the best place for brokies. I'm talking to you, Timmies. That can afford the keys. Since it has two free safes in one building, it is pretty hard to find them, but once you memorize the paths to them, you'll be getting those reds in no time. Hillside Park is a very strategical location on the map with its great elevation and having rooftop to hold off the enemies. You can be 100% confident it will have a lot of rats, especially the, the inside with its many corridors. Make sure to stay close as you can under the mountain when you're driving past this location so you can get beamed by from the Hillside Park. Okay, now to the cable car station. It has one key named Cable Car Admin Room Key. Keep that in mind if you want to grind those two locations for the safe fellas. It has accessible roof, but most important part about this cable car station is that it has extraction point and it can be camped really easily. So we stay safe there fellas, don't get ratted. Well, now we are down with the hillside park and the cable car station. Now we have last but not least, hostels. This is one of the most detailed locations on the map. With the most various building it has, I would say the only two important. The first one is the miners residence with having workers office key and dormitory free key. The second building is the staff, staff dorms with the free safe in it. Hostels can be very rough location to live on because of the amount of building it has, hill which you can snipe or shoot from, and Chaz wanting to get those free saves. Listen to me, if you're not really great at PvP, and have not a lot of patience, I would say that vocation is not very good for you. You should stay away from it. I would like to give my personal opinion on the mine's hotspots. All teammates are gonna dive straight in in the hillside park for its two free saves. All chads and pros gonna rush hostels for its great amount of loot and great PvP potential. Well, I can confidently say one thing. There's gonna be a lot of rats camping prison mine, unfortunately. Well, we all done with the hotspots. Let's dip in into insignificant locations. I'll crack them down real fast for y'all. No, well, let's start with the gas station. Gas station is just remote armory gas station with different interior and encrypted safe instead of the normal one. And they added one extra building to it. Well, it gets worse. Pumping station has exterior of an armory barn, but instead of a barn, they just added Northridge sewage plant building. The devs just got lazy on the one day. They just didn't want to bother making new buildings and stuff. So, who can blame them? Still good map. 
Canyon Town is the worst place you can loot an entire map. You can get sniped from all sides and it's not even worth it since it only has one encrypted safe in the middle of the open. Then let's get to El Mimar Village. It is a very strategic location for sniping and it has one encrypted safe in the warehouse. Pretty nice. Storage is decently sized location on the way to one of the extraction points with a break room key. It has a safe inside it. So loot it up fellas. Pit number one is a quarry with the buildings on the bottom of it. I recommend to stay the hell away from that location because you can get sniped from all around the damn quarry. But if you dare to go to the bottom of it, which is a suicide mission, it has a multiple car spawns, one free save, and an archive room key with the save inside of it. Just to be sure to not get sniped, alright? Or washing plan is a quick stop for loot since it has best loot concentrated near the safe up of the staircase at the last we have Frey station i wouldn't call it a hot spot nor insignificant location since it has two floors extraction point two safes which one of them is being locked by the dispatch room key and one can be found in the first floor with a lot of good stuff surrounding it Frey station can be easily ratted with its two floors dark corners and a lot of ways in it's quite hard to defend it because it has same reasons. So if you have an option to extract somewhere else, I would do that. At last, I have a peak hostels gameplay for you all. This gameplay might give you a picture of how fights will go down on this location. I hope this gameplay will be helpful. Underneath. Get, get down from the roof, get down from the roof, I don't want get sniped First one. No, he was not known. What? One right outside of me. One next to me. Watch out. Don't come towards me. Don't come towards me. One right next to me. Later. He has a nade out. Don't go there. Oh. Nice. Yeah, Yeah, behind you. I know he is though. I have no more smoke, by the way. He's around this corner. You see this corner in front of us? He's around here. You Wait, honestly, if I can see from the side. What do you want? Brad! Let's go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Thank you. Back. Uh, you killed players, yes, I think it was a time out. Oh, 
smoke me, smoke me, smoke on me. Try to smoke somewhere. I can peek with someone. Just smoke somewhere in front of me. I need to be fucking this, you know? I can't see him. But he's not peeking. I see him. 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 Uh, in this mountain. Up top. Oh, up. I guess I can't take structures on here. I just made it. I didn't get into my car, W. Thank you for watching my guide. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and a sub to my channel. It will really help me grow. See ya!